Hello! It feels like ages since I've been in the studio, well, my studio, with all my awesome stuff in the background, and it feels good to be back. I've been out and about doing things, and as you know, if you've watched my other videos, I've been posting all about that stuff, but today I thought I'll take it easy, I'll do a nice short video, and this short video is about tattoos that I don't currently regret, but I know somewhere down the line that I will probably regret them, or possibly regret them. I'm not entirely sure yet, obviously. One of the first tattoos that I ever got actually is of a fairy that I stole from a picture on DeviantArt. I have tried to try and find this piece, but this was a very, very long time ago, and I cannot remember for the life of me who the artist was. I may have mentioned them in a previous video. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done that much research into it. But this is the... Uh, uh, I can't... Uh, no. Uh, I'm not supposed to bend that much. In fact, hang on. I have a chair. That is the fairy in question. Now, I really liked this picture when I first ever saw it on DeviantArt and so I thought that would be an awesome idea to get as a tattoo. That has no meaning behind it. Unlike the rest of my tattoos, well I say the rest, most of my tattoos, apart from the ones I'm talking about in this video. But I just thought, that looks good, I'd like it on my skin. And I don't regret it, still, even after all these years of having it. But I know possibly somewhere down the line I may do. The second of my possible future regret tattoos is this one. I still don't regret getting this. I love it when people notice it. And I've not ever had any bad comments about it either. To be fair, I don't go in a lot of Mac Apple stores, so they don't look at me weirdly in there. But this was actually a joint tattoo that I got with a friend of mine. He got his done in the middle of his back with a Power Off logo in the middle, you know, just a circle with a line down on it. And uh, he said that he was going to cover it up. I honestly don't remember. Jamie, if you're watching this, let me know. I still love Apple products, even if I'm not I'm the biggest fan of Apple themselves and the way that they do business. But, you know, I touch wood, have not had that many issues with Apple products. I mean, one day I'm hoping to get this arm blacked out, and so I, I'm not sure whether that will stay or go at that point. Um, if I'll even ever have the money to do that, I don't know. But we'll see. Shout out to Emily and Anna, who are very persistent on me getting that done. <laughs> one day, one day. The third of these tattoos is this one that I have talked about before. It is one that I got at the Manchester Tea Party when Emily and I went many, many years ago. This tattooist had the idea of having three sections that you could choose, like two things from the first, three things from the second, and another two things from the third. And they all, he kind of squished them into an idea into his head and came up with an idea on the spot. There was no stenciling, there was nothing really. He just drew it straight on the skin. And uh, to be honest, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I, I think I asked for a, like a, a autopsy bunny or something like that, with a jack-in-the-box obviously. I wasn't best pleased when he told me afterwards that the bunny was actually based on a Playboy bunny. However, I, I still kind of like it. The only thing that I can say that I regret at the moment is not a tattoo that I've had done, it's a tattoo that I haven't had done, and that's finishing this arm off. The tattooist did an amazing job. He worked so hard on this. He designed it all. I absolutely love it. The problem is, I haven't been back to fill in all these gaps. I, I've started my leg in that time, I've had so many more tattoos, and I feel terrible, and it's got to that point where it's been so long, I don't think I could show my face in the studio again. Although, that is the studio that I got my Papa Roach signature tattoos in. So, I have shown my face, and he was lovely. I don't know if he'd want to carry on doing this, though. It's just... It's good old Spunky here. He is the only character without colour. Obviously, apart from all the shading that still needs to be done on there. Fortunately, he's quite high up, so you can't usually see him anyway. Right, well, having these lights on me is absolutely burning me up right now. If you can't tell, I'm sweating buckets. Not very comfortable. I'm going to say goodbye. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day, evening, weekend, 
whenever you're watching this, wherever you're watching it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.